Konnichiwa, amigos. This is Aqua Ninja, and today we are looking at Google Play Books. What? This is probably the last of the suite that I'm going to do, and as you notice, I literally downloaded this one the last, and I've never opened this, so you're going to be in quite a surprise such as I am, because we both are going to get the tutorial walkthrough. But I know how Google platform works, so it's it's pretty self-inventory. So my library shows you all the books that you currently own. Um, I'm a huge fan of Einstein, so I wanted to see all his theories of relativity and gravitation. And so far, if you don't know, if you're not a nerd, he has been confirmed correct on all of his theories, which is a little bit strange because he thought of these theories literally a hundred years ago in 1915 so to be correct about things that you didn't know about kind of makes you a futurist which is why I also like time machine um, literally this guy's predicting things that happened hundreds of years later that's just amazing uh, this goes into things you've already purchased pretty self-explanatory library is one of the easiest apps in terms of just simplicity you want a book? Go press the search button. Find the book you're looking for. Done. You know what I mean? And it couldn't be any simpler than that. I like how they've tried to put the little naughty magazines on that for me. I mean, hey, we, we all kind of are freaks in our own way, right? Uh, dessert. Little Batman. Things like that. It shows you your recommended first. You can also organize it by things like top selling course the obsessions up there the beast batman things of that nature you can see the current deals going on with the google play store so it can uh, obviously things like half off or a third price batman vs superman is really popular right now so you can get that one for half off uh, new releases pretty self-explanatory you can do it by genres comics or your top three which to be real, if you're not the type of person that reads that much, you're probably going to want to use this option a lot. So let's say hypothetically you want to, you know, get your first book. Well, one, you're going to need to do that. You're going to need to verify your account first. But after you do that, you're going to click it, you download it, and it actually goes into your My Library right there. So you can just simply two clicks and you're already uh, confirmed done that whole process like it's a pretty it's a pretty self-explanatory cut and dry little thing that you got there download it only just like any other Google Play um, app it actually just allows you to only use the content that is already backed up on your phone cached as we should say PDF uploading is really cool if you want to um, like put your own little documents and mail kind of like a google drive like experience you can also um, store other little magazines and things like that even post your own it's pretty cool that it's that easy to 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 do that on there save notes and highlights in google drive exactly what i just said parental controls is just like uh the movies and tv app where you can um check out all of the basically you know um the books and to categorize them based on their, their their rating scale now like little see here's here's where reading gets kind of revolutionary in the google sense volume key term pages is like samsung's um irish read in the s5 if you guys remember that where you could like scroll up and down pages with just your eyes it's really one of those really useful features where if you're the type of person you read from your tablet or your your uh phablet phone it really means a lot, you know what I mean? Just to just be real simple, you don't have to, to actually, you know, hold the device and things like that. It's a really, really nice uh, effect. And the 3D page effect is also really cool looking because it's kind of like you're reading a book, even though it's on your, your electronic device, should I say. And then the author basically starts to say, oh, you like this artist? Well, we're going to give you more titles and things of that nature from said artists so that way you're not um you know you're not going to run out of content from that person 
essentially that is literally how simple Google Play Books is. It's a nice little simple app that gives you all the things you're going to need in one place. You want to read books? Instead of buying yourself an expensive Kindle or a Nook or any of these e-readers, why not use it something that you already have and you carry it with you every day or your tablet, which you can use anytime you want to. And that's going to cost you nothing because you already own it. Uh, so it's really, really cool that you can do that. And I would definitely advise this for anybody who's a reader on the go. You know, you're on the bus stop or you're at work or you're in a cubicle job, especially. <laughs> Shout out to everybody at uh, 19th and Flag. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Um you know, just to just to pass a couple couple minutes, you know, always keep your mind active and, and read more. I feel like that's the the overall like I don't know, gripe with the world. It's like we, we don't we don't know enough. Like knowledge literally is power and, and the bad thing is that we don't we don't use our mind to even a quarter of its potential because we don't we don't apply ourselves. So one way to get out there is just read a book. I I, I challenge you. I, I I'm giving I'm giving all of my subscribers a challenge. You pick one of these books. Hey, if you're like me, you know, you say, oh, I, you know, you need an excuse. So you're like, oh, I don't got no money or whatever. I can't do it. Pick one of those free books. It's in a little side category right there. So you literally have no excuse and just read the book. You know, like pick something that you actually feel interested in, like maybe a new cookbook and you want to know some new recipes. Maybe you are, you know, trying to f- broaden your vocabulary, read something in that uh, field. Or maybe you're like me, you're just really into science. So read a science book. And tell me about your experience in the comments below. Uh, just remember to rate or like this video. And as always, like Einstein would say, have an aqua day. <laughs>